John, what's the next name on your list? Bob, would you believe Michael Mitchell? Come on down! You're the next contestant on The Price is Right! Hi, Michael. Ooh. Michael, where do you live? Oh, I live right here in Los Angeles. What do you do? Oh, I'm a policeman for the city of Los Angeles. Oh, you are? Yeah. Now, uh, do you walk a beat or do you drive a car or are you, uh, what, what is your specialty or what is your, uh, what, what do you call it in the police department? Oh, right now I uh, work for the uh, West Bureau gang unit. We work uh, juvenile uh, gangs. You're working with the juvenile gangs? Yes. Listen, you're going to catch up with Johnny Olson sooner or later <laughs> there. He's been a gang leader for a long time and nobody's known it. All right, what's the next item up for bids on our show, please? A new dishwasher. A deluxe convertible dishwasher with the energy saver control that saves on electricity. Seven push buttons provide up to 18 cycle selections. Solid cherry cutting board from White Westinghouse. Officer Michael, what do you bid on that? 555. 555. Deborah, what do you say? 450. 450. I like your voice, Deborah. Now wait, 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 oh, wait a minute. I want. Did you hear? You didn't even hear. De Deborah, let me hear you say, Bob. I'm happy to be here with you. Bob, I'm happy to be here with you. Now, you didn't say that as deep as you did one moment ago. Bob. <laughs> oh, you really sounded great. You sounded like Humphrey Bogart when you gave me that bid. Karen, what do you bid? $750. $750 in Virginia Church. Order. $526. $526. The actual retail price of the prize is $590, and it belongs to Officer Michael. Right there you are. Right there you are. Now, Michael, we are going to play our newest game. It's called Phone Home, the Phone Home Game. You've heard about it, haven't you? Yes, I have. And you're going to play along with a contestant at home. And how much could they win, John? A chance to share up to $15,000 in cash. You see, folks all over the country have been sending us postcards. We select one at random and we call that person. Now let's see whose card was selected today. Step over here and we will discover that we're going to speak with a man. Yeah, it's going to be two guys playing the phone home game. We're going to speak with Robert Fallon, Robert F. Fallon, who lives in Lenox, Massachusetts. Well, Lenox is here. Hello, Robert. Robert uh, got a big uh, reaction here when I mentioned Lenox, Massachusetts. Apparently, we have some folks from the New England states out here in California. Oh, that's good. What do you do back there? I work for the state of Massachusetts. You work for the state? I want you to meet a Los Angeles policeman named Michael, who's your partner on stage. Say hello to Robert. Hello, Robert. How are you doing? Hello, Michael. I uh, hope we can win some money together. I hope so, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and since he's a policeman, if you don't win, don't try to steal it, because it's not going to work out. Now, our producers have explained this game to you, Robert, but Michael has not heard a description, so let me go through it quickly for him. Okay. Michael, you see all those products listed there on the board. The prices of those products are listed right over here in the little blue windows with the dollar signs. And then beside each product, there is a cash award. There's a cash award behind each of these red doors with the uh, question mark. You stick a little step back. The folks are looking over your shoulder there. Uh, with the question mark, they have the cash awards. We have between $200 and $10,000 on that board. And they're up there at random. No one knows where they are. By that, I mean uh, you could choose any product, and it might be the $10,000 product. Now, what's going to happen is this. Robert, there in Massachusetts, is going to mention a price, just the price. Then you're going to try to match, match the product with the price. Do you understand? Yes. All right. That was a good review for you, too, Robert. Did you listen to all that? That's what I thought. You hung up, didn't you, Robert? No, no. Are you there? Robert? Yeah. Yeah. Well, say something every so often. I want to know you're awake. I'm now, awake. Johnny, you tell them about these products, will you? A lot, pleasure, Bob. Pilot's Precise Ball Liner, Never Squash, Extra Fine Rolling Ball Pen with Stainless Steel Needle-like Collar, the newest category in thin writing. Enjoy the delicious, long-lasting flavor of Trident 8-Pack Sugarless Gum. It's so fresh and soft. Taste the one that'll win you over to Sugarless Gum. Countertop Magic keeps all for my kind. Other counters clean and beautiful. Sprays on to wipe away stains, food, and grease at leading stores everywhere. 
Fifth Avenue Candy Bars, real milk chocolate covering a new thicker, crunchy peanut butter center. Fifth Avenue gives you bunches of crunches. Success boil and bag rice, perfect every time. Once you've tasted success, nothing else will do. And Sue's Raw Honey, great as a topping or for cooking or baking. No artificial or synthetic ingredients in that Sue's Raw Honey. And get rid of roaches with easy to use sticker roach glue traps. They fit and work where others don't. Sticker roach glue traps, Bob. Remember, Robert, you're going to mention a price and only a price. I'll okay. give you three chances to win money here, but if you mention a product, you'll lose that chance. So give me a price and only a price. What will it be, Robert? $1.75. Uh, $1.75. Michael, what is $1.75? Uh, the roach traps. The roach traps down at the bottom, Holly. How much are they? $1.50. Oh, doggone it. He didn't match it. What is $1.75 on the board? There it is. It's the rice. The rice was $1.75. All right, Robert, the roach traps and the rice are out. There are five products remaining. Give us the price of one. Uh, be honey. The, now, you've mentioned a, a product. I can't, we can't, we lost, we lose that, Robert. Open up the Sue Bee honey there. That's uh, $2.89. That's two chances. Mention the price, only the price okay. of one of the four remaining products. Okay. Uh, 35 cents. 35 cents. Okay, Michael. Fifth Avenue candy bar. The candy bar. Is that candy 35 cents? Yes, it is. I'm so glad, too, because we have never had a phone home game where we didn't have at least uh, a few dollars won. In fact, what was the smallest prize we've had? Do you remember, Holly? About $500, wasn't it? I thought it was two. Uh, two, $200 each? Yeah. Well, no, it couldn't be that. Don't try to help me, Holly. You're confusing me. <laughs> now, now, let's just hope. What I'm thinking, what if the $10,000 is behind that candy? See? You could then have $5,000, and Robert would have $5,000. That'd be great. Yeah, that brought him alive back there in Massachusetts, too. He hasn't had much to say till I said that. Incidentally, Robert, yeah. before I open this up here, you say you work for the state of Massachusetts? Yeah. Do the, does the state know you're home watching prices right all the time? I don't know. <laughs> I've been laid up hot for... Oh, I'm what? sorry. You're not feeling well. All right. But, yeah. Let's check now and see how much money you won with this candy that you matched with 35 cents. $2,000, a thousand for you, and a thousand for Michael. Right, That's wonderful. Excellent. Oh, if you're only going to win one, you won the, the $2,000 prize. Uh, Robert, oh, tell boy. Michael what you think of this. Gee, that's great. <laughs> we ought to hook up more often. <laughs> <laughs> What he means is if you come out here, you'll probably get a ticket. Now, well, I wonder where that $10,000 is. You suppose it's up there at the top of the pen? No, 200. 200. There, the cleaner. The cleaner was $10,000. Robert, it's been fun talking with you, and I hope it's been fun for you. Yes, sir, it certainly has been, Bob. Bye bye. I know. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Hey, you've got to get a card in and play this game. Listen to Johnny, and he'll tell you how. Right, Bob, just send your name, complete address, area code, and phone number, as well as your social security number. Send it to the phone home game. That's Post Office Box 1, New York, New York, 10046. And remember, all contestants must meet eligibility requirements. Okay, Bob. Now let's have a look at this. 